All right. In this video, we're going to answer questions 42 to 44. Let's read number 42. It says to win at lotto in a certain state, one must correctly select six numbers from a collection of 55 numbers. The numbers are also numbered one through 55. Just to put that out there. The order in which the selections is made does not matter. How many different selections are possible? Okay. So when we read the question, we want to find the number of ways we can choose six items from 55. The items are distinct in this case because there are 55 balls and it's numbered 1 through 55. When you watch the lottery, when a ball is selected through the machine, that ball is no longer eligible to be selected again. So there is no replacement of items. So items are distinct. You're choosing a certain amount from a group. There is no repetition. That sounds like a permutation, except in this case, the order in which you're choosing the balls or the order of the winning sequence for the lottery does not matter. So because the order does not matter, we call that a combination. So a combination. And we can say this, when choosing are distinct items, from N distinct items without replacement and regardless of order, can be computed by the following. A combination of n items, choose r, equals to n factorial divided by the quantity of n minus r factorial. But then I'm gonna put this in a different color there is another times r factorial in your denominator. I want to highlight a certain part of this formula, my numerator and this part of our denominator. This part of the formula right here looks oddly similar, similar to the permutation formula. This is in fact, here, this part, is the permutation formula, the permutation of n items choosing r. But we know permutation is So, we can say that this is also equal to the permutation of n choose r divided by, do not forget the r factorial in your denominator the r factorial. That r factorial removes the order. Dividing by that fact of r factorial is a way to eliminate the fact that the order matters. So in this question 42, I am gonna actually do it in three different ways. And 43 and 44, I'm using the calculator specifically to get the combinations. So for number 42, we have well, I'm going to say way one. It's a combination of 55 balls, and you're choosing six. So that's going to equal to 55 factorial divided by the quantity of 55 minus six factorial. And I'm going to put that other times six factorial in a different color. So that's going to be 55 factorial divided by 49 factorial, because 55 minus 6 is 49, 
times the other six factorial. Let the six just chill there. It's not bothering anybody. Let's expand 55 factorial until we reach 49 factorial like we did in the last video. 55 times 54 times 53 times 52 times 51 times 50 times stop here at 49 factorial because there's a 49 factorial already in our denominator and those two simplify each other out. That six factorial over there just chilling. Now we can worry about that. We can expand this one. Okay, that's just six times five times four times three times two times one. So I know the denominator is 720 because we multiplied this a couple of times already. And now let's multiply 55 down to 50. 55 times 54 times 53 times 52 times 51 times 50. Oh, that is a huge number. So basically that e to the 10 means to move the decimal 10 places over to the right. So I'm gonna start writing it down. So that's two zero eight seven two five six six. And then put my decimal here in a different color. Because it's e to the 10, move the decimal over 10 units to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Put another 0 there. 9. Put another 0 here. 10. Put another 0 there. That is my number. Let me make sure I wrote it down correctly. 2.0872566. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. So I'm going to erase that. Erase that. I'm going to basically add three more zeros at the end over here. And we can divide that by 720. And we receive our answer of two, eight, nine, eight, nine, six, seven, five. Twenty eight million nine hundred and nine nine hundred and eighty nine thousand six hundred and seventy five ways. So that is how you compute the combination of 55 and 6. So way number 2. Computing the combination of 55 choose 6. This equals to the permutation of 55 and 6 divided by 6 factorial. We know already 6 factorial is 720, so I'm going to put it there. And when you're doing the permutation of 55 and 6, basically you're multiplying numbers down, starting from 55, and you either have 6 of those numbers being multiplied. So what do I mean? Start at 55, and you count down until you have 6 numbers written. And if you count, we have six numbers written in our numerator, and then we multiply them. But once again, that's the same thing that we did in way number one. Therefore, confirming our answer as 28,989,675.
different ways, different winning orders, I should say, not ways, winning orders. Winning orders. And of course, way number three is the calculator. So usually you type in your number first, your 55. You go to your math and PRB button. You go over to choose combinations. And then after that, you put in six. You hit enter. My calculator is a little bit different. So in this case, I'm going to go to math automatically, go over to PRB and pick on NCR. And in this one, I can put the 55 and the six in after. But in your case, you must put the 55 first, then go to PRB, then hit combination, then put in the six. And we just show the answer is the same. Okay, awesome. Let's read number 43. Matter of fact, I am going to do 43 and 44 on the actual problem set itself. 43 says a committee is to be formed consisting of five men and three women. If the committee members are chosen from a group of 13 men and nine women, how many different committees are possible? Okay, so for this one, we're choosing men and women. So men and women. We already know that men and women are distinct from each other. And when we look at the group of men and the group of women, we are distinct in our own gender groups. There are no two men that are identical. Even if they're identical twins, their physical is identical, but the personality, the way they think, their passions, their dreams, their beliefs, the way they work are not the same. So these items are distinct. And when you read the question, there is no order that's being mentioned. It didn't say women has to be chosen first. It didn't say men has to be chosen first. There's no order in, within the groups. There's no positions within the groups. Hence, this is a combination. For the men, there are 13 men in total, and you're choosing five. That's the combination of 13 choosing five, and the order doesn't matter. For the women, there are nine women, and you're choosing three, and the order doesn't matter. That is the combination of nine women choosing three. Because we want to find out how many ways this can be done, and we have two different events choosing men and choosing women hence we have to go back to the fundamental counting principle we're going to multiply the number of ways each event can occur to find the number of ways that the sequence can occur so i'm going to go off a hunch and i'm going to verify but i do believe the combination of 13 and 5 from my previous studies is 1287 and that's going to be multiplied with the combination of 9 and 3. And that is going to be 84. So let's just verify that's correct. So the combination of 13 and 5. I hate when this calculator does that. 1287. Good. And then we're going to do the combination of 9 and 3. Oh my gosh, man. I keep calling my phone. I had to find a way how to disconnect my iPad from my iPhone. If you know, you can put it in the comments. Now let's multiply times 84. And that equals to a hundred and seven thousand three hundred and fifty two possible committees.
All right. That is it for this question. Once again, you can also do it by hand if you want. I think you should practice. That builds up. That builds up a lot of um learning, a, a lot of um. It basically strengthens your math skills, just in case the calculator is down, or you don't have a calculator that you want to choose. All right, let's look at number 42. 43, actually. We already did 42. No, 44. I'm getting all flustered. Okay, so that gives us a note. There are 2,598,960 different five-card hands possible from a deck of 52 playing cards. How many five-card poker hands consist of three aces and two kings that are possible within an ordinary 52 card deck so the 52 cards in a deck each card is distinct yes there are four aces there are four kings but each ace and each king is different from each other they're different by suit and by color there are two red kings there are two black kings there are two red aces there are two black aces but within the subgroup of red, they're distinct by their suit. The ace of hearts, the ace of diamonds. Then you have the ace of spades and the ace of clubs. Same with the kings. The kings are also distinct within their own color. So for the reds, you have the king of diamonds and the king of hearts. And for the blacks, you have the king of spades and then you have the king of clubs. So these are distinct items. We are choosing a certain number from those, those distinct items. And the order does not matter because it says you want to find a problem, not the probability, you want to find a number of ways you can choose three kings and two aces. But nothing about the order is relevant. This is a combination question again. So for our aces... We have four aces, and we're choosing three. And we know the order doesn't matter, and the items are distinct. That is the combination of four, choose three. And the combination of four, choose three, that equals to four. For our kings... We have four kings, and we're choosing two. Once again, the order doesn't matter, and the items are distinct. So that's the combination of four, choose two. The combination of four, choose two is going to be six. Because I'm doing these events, and also I am choosing to have a sequence we're then going to multiply the answers in the end, like we did with the question above. So that's going to be 4 times 6, and that's going to equal to 24. There are 24, not 22. There are 24 possible hands. In this case, 24 possible hands that contains three aces and two kings. So, yep, here we go. This is our combination video. And I hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that it made sense. That it clears some things up. Give you different ways to approach it. And also know how to use the technology in the class, which is quote unquote the calculator. But you must understand the concept. All right. Take care.